Or again, little article here from the English Daily Star newspaper, Tuesday, October 20th, 2020. This is an upcoming prop store auction that's taking place on December the 1st and 2nd. Um, it shows a helmet purportedly worn by Tom Hanks in Saving Private Ryan. Um, and it's making a big deal about it. There was also a big deal on the news about it. There was a feature on the news. Um, but the thing is, they say a picture speaks more than words. Look at those two helmets. This is the one that's coming up for auction. And that's the one worn by Tom Hanks in the movie. Um, the insignia is painted on in the wrong place. On this one offered at auction, the bottom of the insignia is kind of just above the curvature of the peak of the helmet. On the one he wore in the movie, it's way up there. So in order for that to be this helmet, that insignia would need to be up here somewhere. So how can that be Tom Hanks' Saving Private Ryan worn helmet? It's not. Now if you go online and type in Tom Hanks Saving Private Ryan helmet for sale, there's been lots of Tom Hanks Private Ryan helmets being offered over the years. But they've all been metal. The problem is, none of the main actors wore, wore metal helmets. They didn't wear genuine steel helmets. The main actors wore fiberglass poles, props. And the last time Hanks' proper fiberglass helmet was seen was in 2013 when it was sold. Now, there is no way at all that helmet is that one from the movie. The estimate on this helmet is between 10 and 15,000 pounds. So that's a lot to pay for a couple of insignias, a couple of insignias, a couple of autographs. Fair enough, Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg and two others. But it's a lot of money to pay for some autographs on a helmet that's not even associated with the movie. So you have to be careful out there. There's a big difference between actual screen-worn, uh, screen-used props and reproduction props that have been signed by one of the actors in the movie. Now, to show you what I mean, this is a screen-worn, screen-match prop. It's the actual helmet worn by Giovanni Rubisi as Wade in Private Ryan. Now, like all the main actors' helmets, it's actually a pull in fiberglass. That's the fiberglass colour that it's been pulled from. Then it's been overpainted and stippled. And it's been given fake spray paint to represent mud or sand from the Omaha Beach scene. You see all that? How it's worn? All that dirt is actually spray paint. Inside, all these main actors' helmets have a sticker with character name. And because these were all made by Academy Costumes of London, who supplied bits and pieces, they're all marked US ACAD. And it's uh, not a real steel helmet. Now what I mean by screen worn, screen matched, is when you can actually match the helmet to the movie itself. This one is from American Patrol. I bought it in 1998, so it's been mine for a lot of years. These are pictures screenshotted from the movie where the helmet actually appears. Now of note is the way the fake sand has been spray painted around the white medic insignia. Because there's light areas there and there's like a darkish semicircle around here and a curved dirt area here. Now, if we look at a photograph, that curved dirt area is that curved dirt area. And around here, that curved spray painted sand is that curved spray painted sand. And if you go over to the DVD I've got in, there's the man himself wearing 
this prop helmet. Well, there you go. That in England is that helmet in the movie purchased by me in 2008 from the guy who was brought in to clear everything that was left behind in Wexford in Ireland after they filmed after they filmed the beach scenes and the rest of the movie there. So that's unarguably that steel helmet in the movie. And that's what I mean by screen worn, screen matched. So if so if these people are asking an estimate of ten to fifteen thousand pounds for that one and it's not even the one from the movie that Tom Hanks wore. I wonder what the price will be on that. So there you go. Now if you do a, a Google search for Tom Hanks helmet, a lot of them have been sold over the years, purporting to be the ones from the movie. But if you do a Google search for Giovanni Ribisi's weird medic helmet from Private Ryan, there's only three videos on YouTube and they're all of this helmet in my collection. You won't see it anywhere else. Bye for now.